Hello, dear students of CA Inter, September 24. Yes, so it is exam day now. And obviously, you need a clear cut plan which will not waste your time and ensure that you get your exemption in audit subject. I know there are many students who have to get minimum 50 marks. There are many students who are targeting exemption. They need to cover through audit subject and all of that is possible. Don't worry about it. My non rank holder students have scored 84, 87 marks in May 24. Feedbacks are there on my YouTube channel. You can check that and you can trust me. Don't worry about it. I'm the Irfan Khan of the subject and not Shahrukh Khan. So my glamour is not that much, but the content is powerful. Uh, this video will be in simple English so that all the students across the country can understand and everything that i'm saying over here is there in this pdf and this pdf is there on my telegram channel and the link to the telegram channel is given in the description of this particular video all right so hi i'm ca pragnesh kanabar with an experience of 10 plus years in audit subject and we will quickly talk about the strategy to clear audit paper in september 24. Uh, first news if you are not clear with some concepts or if there is some problem going on all right with respect to some chapters then i have unlocked all the lectures english and jo hindi english wale hai wo separate all right so english and english both the lectures have been unlocked on my mobile app how to access it is written on this particular pdf <coughs> my revision playlist uh, in which largely the lectures are in hindi english mixed version and few lectures have been recorded separately in english that playlist is over here uh, through this playlist obviously lots of things can be achieved now i have done your category a b and c classification i want to keep this video short so category a b and c along with chapter and the weightage i have given it over here all right but i also want to ensure that i give you proper guidance and that is why if you see i have given you the preparation strategy and sequence of preparation also over here <clears throat> my request is that for category a chapters you give some little bit more time for category b chapters only the notes and uh, you know some summary notes and question bank all right uh, module question bank is also fine ta question bank that is the audit academy question bank my own question bank has module questions plus lots of other questions so as of now on exam days please restrict yourself to module questions or the questions which you would have marked as last minute revision questions during your self-study <coughs> category c quick revision only no need to even do the entire question bank or so all right now or category c you can just do module questions no notes no concept nothing only the module questions then also it is fine now uh, preparation strategy and sequence of preparation i have given the entire sequence as you can see along with the time to be allotted i have calculated 19 september i have calculated 5 hours 20th September, I've calculated 14 hours because you don't have too much of leave. So 14 hours you'll have to stretch and five hours I've calculated on 21st September. That is your exam day. And don't worry, it is going to be one of the best days of your life. All right. And you can always take the help of free lectures, uh, detailed lectures on the app, the premium lectures, which I give to the students and uh, the revision lectures on YouTube, which are also short for the betterment of the students. All right. Now what needs to be done in the chapter how much time you are supposed to give all right and the remarks which concepts are important and what needs to be done that i've written it over here so relax this video is not going to be a lengthy video okay because i want to ensure that you start acting and just stop analyzing okay so just iska print out nikalo take the print out of this document keep it in front of you all right and just keep on ticking okay this done this done this done i've done then i'm done with this i'm done with this i'm done with this just one pro tip uh, i have a very special discussion on standards which is called as sa basics if you can do it uh, you know slowly then it gives you grip on the entire topic of standards Koi bhi standard shuru karne se pehle, before starting standards i teach some basic concepts of about six seven hours or so obviously you are not supposed to give that much time so you can do it from my revision link also over here which is of one one and a half hour you can see it in 1.5 x 2 x or so all right it will give you grip over the entire topic of standards this i request you know for students who have studied with me they can just do it from the notes and finish it off then after that essay wise chapter wise i've given the entire list on the day of exams if you have already marked some questions which you want to see at the end then do that if you have not done any such kind of marking then just 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 restrict yourself to module questions 50 to 60 percent of the paper in fact even 
सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ पेपर बट एटलीस्ट फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ पेपर विल बी कॉपी पेस्ट फ्रॉम मॉड्यूल क्वेश्चन एंड दैट इज द रीजन दैट यू शुड हैव प्रॉपर कम्फर्ट ओवर ऑल दो क्वेश्चन एज ऑफ नाउ इफ यू हैव एनी एम सी क्यू बुक और एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम माई बुक और सो सॉलिड बट डोंट गिव टू मच टाइम टू एम सी क्यूज टूडे बिकॉज इट इज एग्जाम डे प्रिपरेशन गोइंग ऑन ऑल राइट नाउ वेन इट कम्स टू योर पेपर राइटिंग टिप्स अच्छा लेट मी टेल यू बेटा before i go to paper writing tips for module questions to cover it very fast i have uploaded pocket notes on my telegram channel and trust me you will love that if you go to my telegram channel i have uh, given all the links all right today just now i have updated all the links all right and you can see everything ready made over there which will really really help you so at least module questions you can cover from my pocket notes okay so that faster faster ho jaye wo all right now coming to the paper writing tips see you have 3 hours all right uh, considering 6 7 minutes here and there for paper credentials roll number and all of that so let us say you have about 174 173 minutes or so phase 1 should be your super confident phase okay that means all the questions where you are super duper confident attempt that now when you are you know in phase 1 let us say question 1a you are confident question 2a you are confident then question 3a then you sh- you should leave one page for each question 1a 1b 1c 11 पेज राइट 11 साइड दैट इज मोर देन इनफ उससे ज्यादा लेंदी आंसर भी नहीं होता है सो 1a 1b 1c 2a 2b 2c ऑल राइट देन यू शुड अटेम्प्ट 1a 2a 3a व्हाटएवर यू आर कॉन्फिडेंट एक्सट्रीमली कॉन्फिडेंट अटेम्प्ट दैट ओके माय स्ट्रेटजी इज दैट फर्स्ट यू कैन फिनिश ऑफ यू नो योर डिस्क्रिप्टिव क्वेश्चंस वेयर यू आर वेरी मच कॉन्फिडेंट ओनली सुपर कॉन्फिडेंट मींस यू डोंट हैव टू इवन गिव 30 सेकंड्स टू थिंक अबाउट इट यू नो इट बाय हार्ट फिनिश दोस डिस्क्रिप्टिव क्वेश्चंस ऑल राइट एंड देन यू कैन पिक अप एमसीक्यू सो फेज वन विल बी डिस्क्रिप्टिव क्वेश्चन वेर यू आर सुपर कॉन्फिडेंट एंड एमसीक्यूज ओके यू कैन फर्स्ट अटेम्प एमसीक्यूज देन अटेम्प द क्वेश्चन वेर यू आर सुपर कॉन्फिडेंट phase 2 will be medium confident phase where you are able to understand the question but you are not exactly remembering the language attempt those questions whatever comes to your mind just vomit it okay then but by phase 2 you should ensure that you are all mcqs and everything is done huh, boss all right then the last phase is low confident phase or not confident or blank phase i hope that you don't face this but normally on an average for 8 to 10 marks everyone will face this all right mostly everyone will face this then in that case please ensure that whatever comes to your mind write two two points three three points whatever comes to your mind if it is related to standards write common points like risk of material misstatement professional judgment experience size nature complexity of the entity materiality afrf whatever comes to your mind but vomit it all right write something whatever comes to your mind okay don't feel hesitant okay then last two three minutes for checking the credentials on the paper when you are attempting the paper uh, obviously mcqs to have to mark for descriptive questions if at all they try to put correct incorrect nowadays they are not asking correct incorrect if at all they try to put correct incorrect then you have to write correct or incorrect with reasons and reason should be proper reason all right then <coughs> for questions which are based upon standards you have to write reference to the standards in one line write the intro of that standard what should be the intro of the standard for that also i have created separate pdf beta on my telegram channel yes just go through that and even that pdf for every single question can give you one one mark all right then for section based questions like caro or section 143 subsection 12 duty to report fraud all right for such kind of questions uh, writing references will be very beneficial caro and stuff memory code is also there on my telegram channel all right uh, exact legal language you may not remember but your answer should match at least 60 70% with the provisions so provisions facts of the case and conclusion conclusion you should write separately for all the answers which are case based conclusions you should write separately even though if you are just repeating the theory that is okay but write the conclusion separately all right please write the theory and conclusion separately and for theory answers like factors give examples because 40% of 50% paper will be application based 40 50% paper will be theory based so for theory based answers straight away start vomiting the points don't write long introductions and you know don't write uh, irrelevant things all right like factors to be considered for determining sufficiency of evidence there are three points misses materiality risk of material misstatement size and characteristics of the population you write these three points you get your three marks all right please understand intersec questions are of 3 marks 4 marks 3 marks 4 marks so you just have to get one or two points correct or three points correct that's it so don't stress yourself too much and don't worry 
Satvik was able to convert his 45 to 82 marks, and I have the entire video over here. Last attempt by non-rank holders have scored 87, 84 marks or so. Then in that case, even you can do it. Yes, trust yourself. I am proud of you because today, in today's world, there are so many options, and you have still going for the chartered accountancy course. So my boy, my girl, you are a tough person. All right, I trust you. I love you. All the very best. All the very best. Stay connected with me. And in the next 1.5 days, I'll change your life. All the best.